Friday the 6th of July. Got a big ride tomorrow. Done a couple of 200 since my wobble earlier on in the year. But to, uh, tomorrow I've got a, a 300k, so it's going to be tough. It's going to need a couple of changes to the bike. So there's the bike in normal Friday night, Wednesday night, Sunday night, daytime mode. So I'm going to spend a bit of time getting it ready for tomorrow. Okay, so let's have a look at the changes I've made to make the bike more of a tour I didn't normally change much for 200k rides to be honest maybe put an extra bottle cage on but um, 200k rides haven't really seen me change too much on the bike I just think that with 300k it's more of a I'm only after more of a touring bike aren't I I guess um, I just feel like it's just going to take that a little bit longer so let's have a quick look and see what the changes I've made so I've got my slightly bigger saddle bag on there that will expand out to about here and I've got it loaded up uh, obviously got the rear lights and front lights because I think for 300k there's a good chance that part of it will be spent riding in the dark even in these summer months can't remember exactly how early we're starting and how late we're likely to finish but just in case um, clearly got two bottles cages on there um, it's forecast to be about 30 degrees yesterday so I think uh, tomorrow even so I think that hydration is going to be a, probably a big deal um, obviously got the trusty GoPro mount and last but not least the the tri bag which i'll probably put jelly babies in or something along those lines um i'll put some of my other nutrition in there this one detaches quite easy just got to unclick that and then a nice slide from there and then you click it back in so that one detaches quite easy to take into stops so anything that i've got in there i can take into cafes with me yeah, that's just about it. So now it's just a question of getting all the kit laid out and loading the bike up with it. And here we are. So this is what I'm going to hope to take tomorrow. So we've got um, divided up. So we've got electronic stuff here. So over here what we've got is the is a rechargeable battery pack. Um, I've got two there. If I can fit them in, I will. Um, with two cables, uh, one for my iPhone, one for... Um, the my wahoo just in case that doesn't last we've got a pencil in there this is an audax at the same time so we need to be filling in our brevet cards and i've got a waterproof case here for my phone to put in my back pocket all of this is going to go in the backpack underneath the saddle which is waterproof anyway then we've got nutrition that looks quite a lot but it's actually probably only 1500 calories or so in there i've just had a quick count up which clearly isn't going to get me around 300k so that's more of a kind of just keep me going while I'm riding thing. I have to make the most of the stops. Uh, I think there's three stops, uh, rather two stops, so every 60 miles, and then one obviously right at the end. So I think I have to make the most of those. But this, so that isn't going to get me around the ride by any stretch, but um, it will certainly help. And uh, I'll pick up some jelly babies as well a bit later on to chuck in that front, um, the, the, the the frame bag. And then obviously got my some tabs, a couple of bigger bottles. And then over here I've got a couple of inner tubes. In fact, I'm going to chuck a third one on there, I think, just in case. A lock to lock, it, lock the bike up at the stops. Nothing major, is it? Nothing flash, but it will deter anybody just in case. A couple of CO2 canisters, standard little mini tool, some tyre levers, and a pump just in case I run out of canisters or for whatever reason I can't get them to work. Yeah, I think that's probably it. The bike in touring mode. I've got fairly jam-packed bag there but it's just about okay I've got a bigger ball lead bag actually I might think about changing it now that should be okay um got a couple of bottles on there obviously now not full up yeah I'll do that tomorrow morning and yeah all sorted so uh, anything else that I haven't got on there is the jelly babies but anything else I haven't already got on there I will go in my back pockets just a couple of little things but I don't want to put too much in my back pockets because that's just going to be uncomfortable for the day isn't it Village Hall. It's a glorious morning, as you can see. Got the bike all ready, 
went with the bigger of the two of my uh, my backpacks in the end. I think I was looking at a smaller one yesterday, my medium sized one, whereas I started to pack it all and realised that it was probably best to take the bigger one. So we're all ready to go. Next time we see this place, Bushley Village Hall, parked underneath the defibrillator, as we saw. Next time we see this place, we'll have done for over 300k. First stop, 80k in. That's a glorious look at that. So back on the road, we've had a nice cup of tea, some flapjack, we've got 80k up, 220 to go. Hello Russ. So about 100 miles in, I think, thereabouts, 99.9 miles. So roughly halfway. Yeah, not feeling too bad. Russ, how are the legs? Not too bad. Yeah, likewise. Monster of a hill, it's taking forever to get up 
and it's quite steep but that's okay I think it's the the last hill because I know the last 40 miles or so is pan flat so that's obviously good you know what you can hear the uh, the tarmac sticking to the bottom of the tyres it's just over 30 degrees and you can actually hear the as you're riding on it the tyres kind of making a strange noise as the tarmac tries to stick to it third and final stop we're 25 minute miles even from the end so we've got 165 or so miles up I'm gonna have some chips yesterday it's uh, now Sunday evening it was a good ride I watched over the video that we saw um, I don't think I really covered off just how hot it was it was it was really hot I didn't have much of an appetite all that food that I put in on the first video I barely barely ate any of it I didn't eat any of it I barely ate at any of the stops it was all about liquid so I took on probably more drink in that sort of 12 hour period than I think I've ever drunk um, to start with it was okay and then once we got to sort of 60 miles and the heat had really hit the day uh, it was just so hot it was a good ride though yeah so we got 192 miles up uh, and we averaged about 16 miles an hour which I think is pretty much what we were aiming for I think the the thing about the average though I think it probably doesn't tell the full story because we trying to navigate our way through Gloucester uh, and also some of the cycle paths that we went on we were at a snail's pace, so I think that reality was it was probably quicker than that, um, but um, not that that matters, it, it really doesn't, it was a great ride, um, got it done in 12 hours dead pretty much, plus the time it took us at the stops, um, yeah what a lovely ride, 300k, fantastic, feels good today, anyway thanks for watching the video.